travelers welcome back to aulani here on oahu day number three i guess it's our second full day here at the resort and we have lots more fun stuff to get into it's another beautiful day so let's go ahead and get it started day number three at aulani here in hawaii begins right now away away let's go and have a lovely day so we kind of had the realization this morning that we never showed you guys our room. So we thought we'd show you a little bit of it now. If you're familiar with DVC, this is considered a two bedroom lock off, meaning that this right here is a one bedroom room. See, one bedroom bathroom with a huge tub, which is nice and toilet area and walk in shower, right? And then a living space here, which has a sofa bed, a pull down bed, and um, a full kitchen here. Now this that I just showed you, that is a room you could book on your own. That's a one bedroom villa. But if you do a two bedroom lock off, you can have this adjoining room situation, have a, a studio room that is attached, that has a bed, sofa bed, and then another bathroom that is right there. A and a kitchenette. And another important thing to note is that there is a full washer and dryer in here as well. Now, sorry for the mess and sorry it's not a full tour, but we're sharing this room. So, you know, it's, it's being used as it should, but wanted to give you a little peek, right? Left. Oh. This way. <laughs> and look who we can see from our balcony. It's Angel. Stitch's main squeeze. Let's go down there and uh, say hi to her. Angel. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Is it okay if we take a picture together? Oh, thank you. You look so beautiful. You have so many flowers. Oh, I love it. <laughs> the flowers. Oh, you like my flower too? Angel had to go, but look who came to visit Thank us. So she voyaged all the way over here to take pictures with us. How nice of Moana. Moana is awesome. She asked us if we saw Hey Hey. And she said, if we find him, let us know, let her know, because he's not a very good swimmer. He likes to eat rocks. That's not good for him. She's awesome. Next up on today's agenda is Rainbow Reef. This is a paid snorkeling, not like an excursion, it's here on the resort, as you can see, but it is an additional cost to do it. Now, right next to the lagoon, you'll see this little hut here, Rainbow Reef Rentals, and this is where you can sign up for it. Oh, there's Moana. She is Moana. You see they have the time posted right there. So during our stay, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., as well as the cost. So you can do a day pass or just buy your length of stay where you can come every day. And I believe they said to you that whether your day pass or length of stay for your allotted time, it's as many times as you want to go. Yeah, you can stay in for as long as you want and you can go in and out as many times as you want, like in the time that they're open. That's really nice. And you can use your own snorkel mask and your own um, life vest if you have it. Oh, okay. But you do have to wear a life vest, whether you have your own or you're using theirs. So they'll provide those for you included with the cost. You can also sign up for an optional snuba program. Uh, that's a little bit of additional cost there. And uh, yeah, you just come in here, tap your card, they'll get you your daily wristband and punch a little fish into it. You wanna see? See, look, Matt has a little fishy friend in his wristband now. Look at, he's so cute. Oh, I'm gonna go swimming with you, man. So, I'm gonna go ahead and head in. I just, I got my own snorkel and mask and stuff, so I'm just gonna grab the vest, because you have to have it, otherwise I would not. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna grab it from here, and then I'm, I'm gonna head in. So, got the GoPro, Let's see what we can find. Oh, and another note to make, they do have an accessible lift here. Um, so, everybody can use the reef, which is great. A light shower before entering just to make sure you do not disrupt the ecosystem. It's brisk, brisk. <laughs> That's about to be a lot more brisk. Yeah, it is. Uh, no kicking, no horseplay, of course, no standing on the rocks, and no diving, which is important note for me. I will... Try to resist? Yeah, I will resist because those are the rules, but darn. 
<laughs> What's cool is that there's a seating area and you can like stand over here to kind of see like your family members snorkeling if you are not snorkeling. But there's an even better spot where we can watch Matt snorkel. So let's go to there. So over here by like the quick serve, grab food and the lava shack. Look, there's like a little like display, like aquarium style place where you can see, one, you can see the fishies in there, and two, you can see people snorkeling. So we can watch Matt snorkel from the above and you get his view from down below as well. Pretty cool. And something that else that is really cool is that they have these like little display cards here that show what type of fish are in the reef that you can see. And it kind of teaches you what they are, what they look like, and then you can spot them even if you're not going to go in and snorkel your spell, yourself. So pretty cool that they have this set up here at the resort. This is definitely going to be probably a good like first time snorkeling experience for people who haven't done it before. Are you really chilly? No, it's not too bad. It is cold, but not too bad. This reminds me, if you ever went to Walt Disney World, about prior to maybe 10 years ago or so, Typhoon Lagoon, they're one of their water parks, they had a similar experience to this. Right. Where it was a controlled reef environment, lots of fish, very cold water. So very similar to that. Um, all you're really gonna see are fish, so you're not gonna see like crustaceans and vertebrates or anything like that. But it's cool. I think this is a great beginner experience. Mm -hmm. Someone who's never snorkeled before or is kind of new to it and wants to get more comfortable before, you know, heading out into the water or anything like that, it would be perfect for that, so. Well, and that's very appropriate because Alani is Disney and Disney's family and, you know, so it's very appropriate that this would be set up in that way. Yeah, exactly. It was cool, though, because there were a couple of Menehune hidden out there as well as some animals carved into the rocks. I'm sure I missed a couple, but um, I thought that was fun kind of stuff to look for besides just the fish, so it was nice. And I don't remember if we mentioned the Menehune yet or not, but they're like these little, like, um, they're like island tricksters. They're like these little statues and stuff, and they're hidden all around the resort, and it's been so fun, like, finding them the whole time. So that's really cool that they put it in, the in like, the reef snorkeling, yeah, too. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. I enjoyed that. I like the windows, too, so you could see, you could see each other. I loved that. Like, I love that even if you're not um, doing the snorkeling for whatever reason, like, you can still, like, participate with people who are. Yeah. So... I like it. Really cool. 
I'm telling you guys right now, these corn dog bites and uh, mozzarella sticks are what we call a problem because they're so stinking good. That marinara sauce is no joke. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. Let's go enjoy it. Whoa, and look who's over here hanging by the pool. Pluto, you like to swim too? Yay, yeah, you're not long and pretty. Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. So today's flavors are pineapple, cherry, and lilacoy. I have no idea what lilacoy is, but we're gonna we're gonna try something new today. So I looked up all the like Hawaiian names last night, the flavors. Mm -hmm. um, I think the one you guys passion fruit, if I remember correctly. And then there was one that was. I hope you didn't get this one. It was like licorice. Oh, yeah, I, I did. I bet it was, was that a, like high chi one, or it was something like that. That one. That was the one. I think, the, licorice the licorice one. one. And then the other one, I can't quite remember what it was. Well, the one I got yesterday, the lychee one. Yeah. That's the one that tasted like like rose water. That was intense. Yeah. Well, I like. I think, I think you got passion fruit. Though. Passion fruit's good. I like passion fruit. Hi, Mickey. They were so, doing pool three. games. All right. Led by Goofy yeah. and Goofy and Max. That was so much Nancy. fun. Come for all of our Ohana and the pool. If you're having fun, make some noise. All right. Me and my sister are out walking around and look, there's like a little mongoose thing. Look at it. It's Hawaii squirrel. So in case you didn't know, Alani actually is, you know, private, private Disney property, but the beach right in front of Alani is um, public access to everybody. Um, and it's connected, the beach is connected to several different hotels and resorts. And it's kind of cool because you can walk along the beach and walk along this little sidewalk here and visit all the beaches of those different resorts. So we're gonna kind of take a stroll and explore and see what it's like on this beach trail. Oh, and like as we're walking, there's a map of like the Colina area. So you can kind of see where stuff is located. So here's Asalani and then right to the right of us, if you're facing the ocean is the Four Seasons. And you can see the other resorts that's here as well. And you can also see the names of the different lagoons. Uh, this is the one in front of Olani, Lagoon One. And I think this one, the Hanu, is um, also called Turtle Beach. And I think you have a good chance of seeing um, sea turtles at this one, or at least that's what I read online. So who knows? But yeah, you can go to one, two, three, four lagoons. So that's pretty cool. You have access to all of them. Oh, and as I look over at this like next little map, I, I just remembered like Hanu, it's like Volcano Bay. Like Hanu is the name of the ride and it has a turtle on it. So I guess Hanu means turtle in Hawaiian. So it's like Hanu Lagoon too. Like Hanu, Hanu Turtle Beach. How many times can I say Hanu and turtle? Hanu Turtle Beach. So yeah, that makes sense. We're learning Hawaiian and we didn't even realize it. It's really cool getting this perspective of the resort. And like from over here, you can see the mountains behind the resort and stuff a lot more and see like the full structure of the resort. And it's, I don't know, I feel like this area is worth coming over to. Also, you can appreciate how like apparently Hawaii has like the most pristine grass ever. Cause this stuff like in person does not even look real. It's like so perfect. But like, no, it's real, it's real grass. But I don't know, I guess just really, really nice weather and climate and plenty of moisture and it makes nice grass. Welcome to Hanu, Turtle Beach. It only took like two minutes to get here. It's not a long trek at all. But what I think is really interesting, it's like this over um, at the lagoon over by Alani, is that they have these like breakers out here to like make the lagoon like more calm and everything. But like, it's cool seeing them hit the breakers and seeing like what like force it's stopping. See like right there, you can see it like, and then it fizzles out. So pretty cool that those are there. So you can <laughs> enjoy some calmer waters. It's so weird seeing this grass go like literally right up to the beach. 
like we're not used to that at all in Florida because you know you have the dunes and stuff like that and it's just really weird to just see like grass sand grass sand grass sand it's for you that's see. she put a flower in her hair and her dress went down to there We're back at the resort because, as you can see, it looks like we're gonna get some weather. So we're probably gonna head inside. But before we do, I wanna make note, there are so many pools at this resort. Like, so many. Like, I think, like, I don't know. I don't know the count. But there are so, like, many pools. The Lazy River. That's the thing, right? Yeah, not just literal pools, but I mean, you do have hot tubs. You have the Lazy River, which is not a little minuscule Lazy River. It's full on. Yeah. The splash play area for the kids over there. It's all kinds of water features here. I like this zero entry. So you get some options too. You have the infinity style over there looking at the ocean. You can mix it, it up. Yeah, it's like they're all very different and unique in their own way. And we've been kind of like in and out of like pools today and yesterday, like all day and everything. But I wanted to show you my favorite pool on the property. Ooh. My favorite. Number one. It is this one, the grotto pool. And it's really cool. It really does look like a grotto. Here, I'll, I'll give you a closer look. So yeah, so it's a, like you can get in. And then in this area, there's like a grotto. And it has like all the like like shells and it looks like uh, like barnacles and stuff growing up. If you look up there, it's kind of like um, crystally, like up on the top there and that's really cool. And they have a hot tub right there. And also if you turn this way, it's infinity style and you have like an awesome view of the ocean. So I think this is my favorite pool, but what say you? Well, I think you're right. And I just noticed there's like a hot tub built in. Uh, yeah, that's what it. I just I said. I didn't see that before. So I'd, I'd go lazy river if and we're talking off features, but pool, I don't know how you could beat this. This one's pretty cool. The beautiful view. We're back in the room and check it out. Tonight's luau's going on. And once again, we got the front row seat. Pretty fun. All right, friends, that is going to do it for today. Sorry I'm saying goodbye to you all by my onesie. Matt has fallen asleep for the evening, so just me to say goodbye. But here to tell you that we have more fun in store for us tomorrow here on the island of Oahu and at Alani. See you tomorrow. Happy travels. Oh,